Hello everybody, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Thank you as always so much for being here. Okay, I kind of sound like a dying llama or something, but please forgive my voice. I look worse than I sound, or I sound worse than I feel. That's the one. <laughs> I have been sick this weekend and this part just isn't getting better. So I am starting a new series today and it's been a while since I've watched a series on the channel. So I'm really excited. I like series because you get to know the characters for a longer time and see their arcs. And um, I've always loved binge watching TV shows. So I'm starting Masters of the Air. Now, I watched Band of Brothers on the channel and The Pacific. Those were deeply impacting to me. They changed the way I looked at a lot of things and some of the best TV I've ever watched. And then I've heard since The Pacific came out that there's been rumors of this Masters of the Air coming and I think from what I... I might be wrong. I'm pretty sure it's by the same uh, Tom Hanks and Steven Spielberg. They produced it or I know they did for the other two. I'm pretty sure it's for this one too, but I might be wrong. But I fell in love with those guys uh, in Band of Brothers in the Pacific and was so grateful that someone was telling their stories. Now, I feel like this is the Air Force side of things in World War II and I'm excited to see more stories of heroes. So without further ado, let's get started. Masters of the Air. I think I'm only going to watch the first episode right now. So I think that's all my voice will last, but um, I'll be watching all of them on the channel and I'm excited. Okay, let's get started. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Here's my Patreon. Hit the bell. Okay. Got all the luck. Yeah, she's pretty. Not bad. Lucky bass is shipping out tomorrow. We'll be over there dropping bombs soon enough. So you're Bucky and he's Buck? Uh, that's a long story. Oh, I should have introduced him earlier. She's leaving tomorrow. That's right, Austin Butler is in this. So you wrote me? Well, I already have. You wrote me a letter? Yeah. Hey, our new air exec. Bucky. Hey, hey. Someone's gotta make a nest for the rest of you dodos. You don't tell me. What's with the nicknames? John, uh, John was always Bucky since he was a kid. Gail's always been gay. Until... This fella walks up to me and says that I remind him of a guy back home who goes by the name of Buck. It's just Buck this, Buck that, Buck, and you help me tie my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you should actually be thanking me. I did you a favor. I recognize you him, too. You're gonna dance with me before this night is still... Oh, don't make me dance, Marge. <laughs> Okay, so I didn't see him, Austin Butler, as Elvis, but I heard that he had to get like voice training to get rid of the Elvis dialect. What's that called? So this is it. See you in a few weeks. If I don't die first, I hate to break it to you, Bucky, but you are the hundreds air executive now. You're not going over there to fly missions. I had a conversation with the CEO over at 389th, and I'm flying with those boys until you guys show up. I'll be an observation pilot. You son of a bitch. Don't you die on me before I get over there. Don't count on it. Get them out now! Let's get this fire out! Between your three and any of the bomb group, Germany. Gosh. I'm not gonna make it, Buck. Holy crap! They're injured! He made it. Hurry! A hell of an observation mission, Major. Are they all like that? You wonder what to tell your guys? Don't say anything. I'll figure it out. They did always have good intros. Sawyer Spielberg. This is some good music. Oh. Executive producer Tom Hanks. 
executive producer Steven Spielberg, okay? I feel like I haven't watched something like this for a while. Just to really get emotionally prepared. Was sent to England in the spring of 1943 to join the battle against Nazi Germany. Oh, I see why you want to name this Ford after. She's special. She's formidable. Most of us had never traveled far from home, let alone flown in an airplane. We came from every corner of the country with a common purpose, to bring the war to Hitler's doorstep. We're touching down in Greenland shortly to get some chow and some rest. Nine or nine or zero. It's a little breezy. In Bama, we called out a hurricane. Roger, Bonnie Tower, continuing to run my six sky cabin. So they literally learned to be pilots in training? It's gonna get bumpy. Hang on, guys. Oh, boy. Lots of quarters. Maybe we do a little lap, do a lap, walk about, okay. Sheesh. Our unit was made up of four squadrons. Major Gail Clevin was the commander of the 350th. He and Major Egan were the unquestioned leaders of our entire group. Ev Blakely was a pilot from Seattle and big heart of Benny DeMarco from Philly. Michael? Charles Cruikshank, also known as Crank, was from New England. Hi, Best friend, Joe Bubbles Payne, and I were navigators. Location was important to us. Uh, where are you from? You gotta put a pin in it. Bubbles and I were, you know. Bubbles. Casper, Wyoming. Cowboy State, huh? Major, what do you got for you? A buddy of mine came through here some weeks ago. Group air exec, there was an incident. You friends with Egan? Bucky? I am. He just wanted me to give you this. Set some replacement. And how exactly is this? supposed to be a replacement. Sergeant, I don't know what went on. But he told me that that should make up for it. You see that? Broken narwhal tusk? I pulled it down off the wall, pretended to be a unicorn. Usually I can spot a troublemaker, but your friend seemed fine. Such customers, yours, I can have any day I need. You don't have to do this. It's a stupid bath. I have to now. Is this a flashback or right now? Maybe you're ready. What's he? <laughs> it was my job to get Captain Brady and the rest of our crew from Greenland to our base at Thorpe Abbotts. Okay, this is the navigator talking. But I had another problem. Uncontrollable air sickness. <laughs> We got a gremlin in the electrical. It was a holding pattern while we figured this out, Cross. Stand by. Oh, did he know this before he joined the Air Force? Gotta be one of the control circuits. I'll pull the fuses. That'll isolate the problem. Your stomach's gotta be as empty as our fuel tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh gosh darn it, Cross. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on. It stinks. Oh, boy. Is that the coast of England? Crosby, that's England, right? No, we, sh we shouldn't be over water, Lieutenant. What? Oh, good lord in heaven. What? That's France! What? 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 <gasps> that would be me with a map. I don't blame him. Hello? Hey, Major! Wouldn't stop howling, because he's part wolf! That wolf's part dog. <laughs> you radio guy pick up any chatter from the 418? You're missing Brady. Thank you. Oh, I got you a bike. <laughs> At least these are sold out for weeks. I figure you'll buzz past a bunch of guys crawling through the rain on the way to dinner. You'll come around and say thank you, Bucky. They're missing one of the planes? Well, there's Brady. Is this the one who accidentally went to France? Oh. Oh. It's stuck? Do they have radio communication the with these guys? Must be fried on a jack screw jammed up. It's not coming down. This is Army 071. Landing gear not responding. Rescue crew at the ready. Over. Roger, clear up. Pilot to crew. Prepare for crash landing. They said that so calmly. He's like, yeah, you're good to land. Good luck. Holy crap. Because it might light on fire? Oh. We, uh, we 
got separated in clouds. Oh. And uh, we spent an hour just trying to get the wheel down. Well, you know what they say. There are two kinds of pilots. We've had a wheels up landing, and those who will. It looks worse than it is. All right, sort it out. Hold it, Major. He covered for Crosby. It's my responsibility. I, was, I wasn't covering for you. Get a grip on that air sickness. Get off my plane. How is he supposed to get a grip on that? I need to explain to you the gravity of your responsibility. You are aware this isn't just about how well your crews make their beds. I am, which is why I prioritize the flying more than the folding. You are in charge of 35 planes and 350 air crewmen. Boys who have yet to experience combat. With all due respect, I think I would be of more use to them and you as a squadron commander. Just because you spin the baton at the front doesn't make you the band leader. I just don't think I was made to sit behind a desk. I need to be up there helping my guys. And he's just itching to pull the trigger on the 100th bomb group. That's not gonna happen on my watch. And I expect all officers to get in the game with me. You okay, sir? I'm all right. Um, that didn't look all right. Within what? days, they woke us up for our first mission. With hundreds of hours of flight training in the States, we had to believe we were prepared, because now it was real. Major Clevin, sir. There was always a special breakfast on mission days. Eggs, French toast, flapjacks, double rations of bacon. The men will come to call it the Last Supper. Pass the salt, please. Uh-oh. Would you please toss the salt over your shoulder so we can all get on with our breakfast? Hey, who did that? Watch it. Not the whole thing, Chuck. Was <laughs> <laughs> Meat Boss saddling up? Lemons or Winkle watch him. Morning, boys. Morning, Major. Major Veal. Morning, Morning, sir. The new CO flying with us? The new CO or the new new CO? I worry about your flying. I want formation so damn tight you wouldn't be able to slip a dime through our wingtips. A tan putt! The target for today is Bremen. We'll be hitting the U-boat pens on the Vesa River. The 350th will be in high position with Major Clevin as lead pilot, and the 349th will be low with Major Veal as lead. How you have to be organized up there. Now this central pen here will be your main point of impact. Immediately after the turn, follow the river. So there's like like 30 planes going on this to bomb those U-boats? I like your aftershave. Good. This is how close I want you on my way today. For those who don't know me, I'm Father Tesca. I'm right across the way. Captain Phillips, too, if anyone needs us. Thank you, Padre. We'll be sure to keep that in mind. OK, first mission. I've gone on two missions with it already. I had two wheels down. Look, two corners bitten off, one for each mission. Here I am. Take What, what is it? All right. All right, see you all later. That's where I'm going. As you know, it's our first mission here. Trust you all to remember your training and know your jobs. Let's knock one off, drop bombs on those Nazi fucks, and we get to go home early. Yes, sir. sir. First time in the sawmill, boys. Let's rack them up and knock them down. <laughs> I was picturing them in, like, the planes, like, Top Gun or Maverick. Like, just one little guys. Yeah, in all of us, pal. These are big. Lots of people. Start one. Good to have you with us, Colonel. It's okay, don't look like The B-17 had 12 machine guns protecting us from every side. We called it the Flying Fortress. But the key to our survival was sticking together, creating a combat box of defensive fire from a tight formation. It was important okay. because if we got separated, the German fighters could pick us off. Here we go, fellas. Here we go. I was about to say, they wouldn't have anyone die on the first mission, but it's a true story. So there very well may have been. That was smooth. That seems smooth. Fireman, boys. Three hours before we hit the target. Okay, bosser, let's get you in the hole. Ooh. Oh, boy. That's claustrophobic. Okay, Kurt, I got control. Masks on and check in. All turret, roger. Dale, roger. Right waist, roger. Left waist, okay. Best, pop a flare. To the other guys? To the other... Dust the crew. I think I saw a flare right below us. I can't see a thing out there. Holy f... Damn it! There's a floor on top of us! I see him. We're clear. Holy cow. I mean, you told him to stay close. Not like that. Oh my gosh. 
Tell the clubbing, from our group, we've got six in formation. Red meat lead, this is surface lead. What's going on back there, Vivian? Having engine problems, working on it. Can you work on it in the air? Cutting fuel, feather that prop. We have mechanical failure, I'm heading back. Lead is all yours, Roger Wilco. Oh my gosh. Pilot to crew, we're taking red meat lead position. Continuous power. I wish they all had their names on their helmet right here. Oh, they could take you out just like this. Should we go higher? And do thou hope, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God. Higher, higher. Uh, the Heavenly Host, and all the evil spirits who wander through the earth, seeking the root of souls. Amen. How many cannons do they have lined up for miles? Bombardier Command Pilot, could be over the target. I can't see a damn thing. I am not dropping bombs if we can't see the damn target. Navigator, how does the secondary target look? Navigator to Command Pilot, the same. I'm scrubbing this mission. Navigator, prepare a new heading. Roger. Service lead to Pacer lead. Roger Wilco. Mission scrubbed. Flag stopped. Is that bad? You know what that means, boys. No. Get ready, fellas. Roger that, Major. Keep your eyes peeled. Top search and crew, 12 o'clock high, fighters! Fighters, 12 o'clock high! Oh my gosh! Oh no, no! They got a bail! Fighters, 12 o'clock high! Trick, trick, trick! Schwab on tank! Oh Christ, they're both small bombs! They're coming straight for us! Jesus! Oh, oh! Back there. Tell the clubbing. The 349s are in a cloud bank. I don't see them, sir. 190's coming back at us. There's six o'clock. Eight o'clock. Oh, oh. oh crap. Nah, tail the clubbing. Fighters are gone. There's only two left from the 349. Oh my gosh. Pull turret to pilot. Sir, they shot a hole in the turret. I'm freezing to death. Hey guys, get boss out of there and warm them up. Your suit's all shot up. No wonder. Get him a blanket. Back at base right after we dump these bombs in the channel. They're just dumping them? The carburetor mixture link causes the spark plugs to load up and foul. It should just take a few hours to fix. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. How many was there supposed to be? No more coming. Count 15. Same. 19 took off, one return, three missing. We're all from deal squad. Now shut, get not another word. Not another word. Get to interrogation now. What's happening? What am I missing? They're interrogating themselves? Yeah. So is this his plane? No flat landing. Motor was shot. I need to get you to interrogation, Bob. Didn't drop a single bomb. I had to salvo them over the channel. I know. Let's go. Why do you have to drop your bombs over the channel? Because you can't bring them back? Why didn't you tell me? What? You'd been up. Two missions. You didn't tell me it was like that. I don't know what to say. You've seen it now. I don't know what I saw. 30 guys. Should have been up there with you. 30 guys? Long road ahead of us. Yeah. Like 10 in each plane? Oh man, what am I watching? What am I in for? Okay, episode one. We are in for a long road, I think. Um, I've always thought about if I was fighting in the war, whether I'd want to be up high in the plains or down low on the ground because there's terrible parts to both, but good parts to both. And I always thought, well, it'd be so nice to be in the plains because you can just come in and bomb the enemies and save the guys on the ground. But at the same time, I just feel like they fire these huge, what do they call them, flanks, flax, at you. And if one little thing goes wrong, if they hit one part of your plane, you're done for. Just so much unknowns up there. The navigation, the weather, the, the mechanical failures that have already happened like four times since I've been watching this one episode. I'm excited to learn more about this part of it, but they're gonna make me fall in love with these guys. And anyways, okay, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna watch episode two because I feel okay and I really want to. Okay, here we go. Yeah, let me see that face. John, some coffee. He's Chad. Came from the clouds about five o'clock high. It was a soup, Lieutenant. I couldn't see it. Islands? Jeez, I never saw any islands. Son, I'm gonna show the major your wounds. Oh. Hang in there, bosser. We're gonna send you to Redgrave Hospital. Get you all fixed up. Can't wait to get back in the fight, sir. Not to mention we just lost another CO. What? Huglin. We burst an ounce when he landed. I just put him on a transport to London. See a specialist. Freezing cold, and I gotta grab the gun with my bare hands. Heal fast, Dicky. I need my co-pilot back. Thanks, Kurt. Bucky and I kind of thought we should have some drinks with a few of the boys. Oh, thank you, Kurt. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay in the night. Here's to Adams, Small and Buck, and all their brave men. You feel anything? Huh? You feel anything? Yeah, I miss those guys. Because me, I don't, I don't feel a thing. Is he okay? Why don't you hit me? That's an order. Come on. Why don't you land one right on my beak? What's he doing? Huh? Huh? Bucky. Oh, New York, right? Wait. <laughs> I felt that, Kurt. Is he just wasted? I gotta meet that guy, Lucio. First thing tomorrow. Today is tomorrow. You hung over, Major? That won't come for another couple hours. And Colonel Hugland didn't think much of your skills as an air agent. Well, I didn't think too much. Too much of his flying? Well, I ain't Colonel Hugland. No, you're not. So, the air exec just, like, plans the mission? I got demoted. CEO of the 418th Squadron. Hardin wants to see about that. But I'm air exec? You son of a bitch. It's my idea. Hugland recommended you. I don't want to be the guy wiping your ass, Bucky. I'm so confused. I made one last request before being demoted. Mm -hmm. I want to write the letters to the families of the boys that we lost. I'll help you. I appreciate that. If this whole thing ended and there were only two pilots left up in the air, it'd be me and it'd be you, Buck. Don't count on it. They're best friends. Their, um, their quarters where they stay immediately look, um, nicer. And, man, the guys in the Pacific, they were just, like, living in mud. Every man who flew a B-17 thanked God later. for our ground crews. There was no glory in what they did. Our crew chiefs were responsible for keeping our planes in the air on any given mission, which meant they were responsible for the lives of dozens of men. Corporal Ken Lemons was one of our best crew chiefs. He was 19 years old. See here, this bird's been dripping oil. Oil. Tomorrow after the boys take off, we're gonna clean the hard stands. What are we gonna clean it with? Fire. Fire. Oh, yes, please. Practice mission, he went into his turn too early, too slow. One of the 349th, new crew. That's six forts in less than three weeks. Lastly, we're already down 66 combat air crewmen. Until we get the other replacement crews, we're gonna have to make do with what we've got. 66 already? Here, Couple we're weeks? Have to fly with the 349th. Buck, same goes for you. <laughs> so it goes. You gotta have the worst luck I've ever seen, Quinn. Ooh. Well, Enticing me. Yeah, you better. Because if I ever go down, we all go down. Major. It's so dark in here. We bomb at night because it doesn't matter what we hit, as long as it's German. But bombing during the day is suicide. I could foresee in future American strategy adjusting due to the unfortunate losses you'll no doubt continue to suffer. Maths. Maths. If you bomb during the day, you hit your target. And why the hell do you Brits add an S on the end of math? <laughs> Because there's more than one of them. See more than one of you, too. Pretty sure I can knock Ollie out. Yeah, okay, oh, okay. That is a ginger beer. How about a song? I heard you sing, Major. I think bad things happen when he sings, right? You, you remember Walla Walla. Yeah. We had a visit from Wing. Just so they remembered who he was. We burst the tower. All engines fed it. Oh, no, three, three engines. He still have yeah, one. I remember he hey, called hey, one engine. Hey, clever, hey, right? hey, I'm, I'm telling the story here. It's four engines. Four engines. I see this fort sailing 25 feet over the wrong way. Sound is the grave. I'll drink to that. <laughs> no one engine, 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 engine clap. Yeah, there you go. You're Buck, and he's Bucky. Yeah. Was there a shortage of nicknames in the hundred? <laughs> <laughs> Just a shortage of crews. Pity. Pity. No, pity, 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 pity what? Let's stop talking to each other. You'd have more if you flew your missions at night. Why'd you have to go and say something like that? Well, perhaps I was getting bored of all of the heavy petting going on at your end of the table. Okay. You know what that means? I don't know what that What does that mean? Let's make a bit of sport ourselves. Let's not. Hey, hey, please. Uh, ladies, let's Shall go. We? Where are we going? Are they fighting? Oh, he's a, he's a sweet guy. He recently had the clap. There you go. Time to show them what we're made of. 
Why did... <laughs> so now why does this sport interest? Why do they seem so condescending? You can test a manhood. That's so? About as true a measure of your will to fight as any, and it's... Well, so you just don't like team sports. Hey! Hey! Oh, come on! I don't like this. Oh, I felt that, right? It's Give him some room. target at night. Ah. But I tell you, pay up. Goes over. Never mess with the Irish. The Americans pursued daylight precision bombing, an effort to destroy specific military or economic targets. The Norden bomb site. Outside the atomic bomb was the most closely held secret of the war. Oh. At night, while the crews slept, the rest of the base worked tirelessly to get the flight plans, equipment, and planes ready. What did they have that was a secret? Some kind of bomb director? The hundredth will be leading the wing on today's mission. Major Egan will be the wing's command pilot in Blakely Sport. And the target for today is submarine pans in Trondheim, Norway. Bubbles, sick as a dog. I can fly. No, the hell you can. <sighs> Who do we have? We're leading the wing today. What? I can't lead a wing, Bubbles. I can't. You can lead a wing, just like any other mission. We assembled a squadron at 2,000 feet over Splasher 6 at H plus 0112. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't be nervous. That's cross. My lucky snow globe. I want it back. Boost the pump's pressure. Pump's on. Oh, cross. We're good. We're ready to start. That's his best friend, right? Those two navigators? Douglas! Harry Crosby! Oh, like Bing! Yeah? Hey, you sing? They kicked me out of choir. Come on, Crosby. Did they have a drama meme back then? 70. 80. 80. Okay, so Crosby's in with Bucky. Yeah, well, I've seen Bubbles do it a million times. Can't be that hard. Well, I don't know if that's the best thing to say. Where'd you want it? Down here? Where are we here? That's how you clean a hard stand. Lemons, the, that guy, the 19 year old, he reminds me a little bit of the medic in Band of Brothers. I'm trying to remember his name. Mm. Oh, that would suck so bad. Navigator to command pilot. 95th at 3 o'clock. Roger, navigator, I have visual. Send out a flare, see if they'll get in formation. Come on, boys, let's tighten up. Crosby. Wake up, Lieutenant. Oh my gosh. Put your mask on and read the damn map. Come on. Why not why not tell anyone? Hey, what's going on up there? Shouldn't we be turning by now? Lead will handle it. Uh-huh. How we doing, Crosby? Yeah, good sir. Just doing some calculations, Major. Come on. Turn out at 075 degrees. Nine minutes to the IP. You can see the crowd smoke screen. We got it, Cross. Was he right? Flat. 12 o'clock level. Oh no. Bob A door is coming over. I thought we were still nine minutes to target. <gasps> Watch the crew! Flat pull three at top level! Oh. Oh. This is the secret thing? Engine three's been hit bad. Pressure on engine one is dropping two. Oh god. You okay? Jesus Christ, yeah! <sighs> Oh no, the puke. Bombs away! Those are big. Navigator to pilot. Another left turn to 106 to the rally point. Please don't. Engine four's not looking too happy. Flawed too far behind. Go to max, continuous power. If engine four is going, maybe the others are too. Also calm. Good on ya. With two engines down. Can't keep up with you guys. Gonna have to drop out. Roger, run me three. Is it a fuel problem? Negative. Black tuck engine one. Four was backfiring and shaking. We tried everything. Red meat three has two engines down and they might lose another. Can't keep up this pace. Roger. What does that mean? We got a straggler. We're gonna throttle down and stick with him. Await instructions. Let's slow her down to 130. <laughs> Helps to have friends in high places. What would have been the alternative? Oh gosh. I'm in. I'm in. What? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh, I'm... Crosby, I need that plan. On it. Coming up, sir. Crosby, I didn't get a word of that. Major, I said we go 244 ahead for the Shetlands. When we hit Scotland, we go straight south. That way, if Fittick has to put her down, at least he's on land. 
came out of nowhere? It's going away! Roger. Hey, Navigator would be so much pressure. We're setting ducks at half speed. And Kurt and his men will be dead if we don't. We're not leaving them behind. Why would they be dead? Because they'd be, oh, because they would just be all alone. They would just pick him off. Pilots and Navigator, we over scouting yet. Uh... Roz! Yes? Yeah, yeah, yes, we are, sir. We're approaching the coast now. Nice work, Cross. Everyone's gonna land, or just him? Pilot the crew. Prepare for crash landing. Oh, come on. They were just talking about this, right? No engine, Clevin? Get ready for landing. Maybe a rough one. Airspeed is... 115. Place yourself. Prepare for impact! Oh my gosh. Is that someone's house? I wasn't that bad, right? How do they get home now? But then these chunks, they start rolling down my forehead. I think, holy mackerel, Crosby. Holy mackerel. I'm sorry, Major. I'm for? They'd give PRs the whole flight back, and Harden, he couldn't be more impressed by you. So I'm transferring you to Blakely's crew full time. We gotta give you an actual nickname. They call him Bing back home. That's just lazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks. All right. You hold on to it for now. It's working well for you. What did the missus say? She mentioned me? Uh, nope. Seems to have forgotten. P.S. Say hi to Bubbles for me. I know what your favorite part is. How she signs them. Mrs. Jean Crosby, you still can't get over that, can you? <laughs> no, I can't. He got married? You know what this is missing? Nothing. Vocals. No, it's not. No, it's not. I'm gonna sing. Never saw the sun shining so bright. Never saw things going so right. When you're in love, my how they fly. I'm telling you, you can't teach that kind of confidence. This is nice of them. Put on a little dance. Oh boy. Town hall. I'll be over there. Coming in hot on her. General Spatz's daughter or the other one? The other one. Two bucks, huh? Yeah. Two bucks says I can get her to laugh inside a minute. Uh, Egan, sure. You got a call. Yep. Hey, fuck, is that you? Kurt. Kurt! Fuck, fuck. Where'd you end up? Uh, Safe and sound here. Where am I? The devil's dope, son. Uh, <laughs> they don't like the English much either. <laughs> I wanted to call you. Thank you, Bucky. Thank both of you. Yeah, all right. Well, you just get back here soon, Kurt. We miss you, Kurt. I made him a bet. What'd you bet? I can make you laugh in under a minute. I can't laugh on you. Can you tell me something funny? <laughs> What's the difference between a hippo and a zippo? One's really heavy, the other's a little lighter. How are you, fellas? Hell of a shindig. We're gonna need a new group navigator. I was wondering if you could recommend someone. That's more of an office job. Bubbles. Who's in a pain? What about you? Me? Yeah. You brought the group back home. And you got bitted to Scotland. Alive. I got lucky. Let's go! Box race in the mess hall! Who's in? I am. Me too. So, he recommended Bubbles for the more of the desk job, and he's going up in planes. Privileges, boys. You got one lap for the officer's mess, two laps for the enlisted oh, men's mess. When you hear the starter, we'll go! Are you ready? <laughs> I mean, of course Buck is gonna win. He was the first in line. I love the camaraderie of them all. Hold up! Let's hear those sirens. All personnel take shelter. Let's head for the shelters. Oh, we're getting through this. I'm gonna bet on us, Buck. You sound like my dad, John. My father liked to drink. When he drank, he gambled. Can't tell you the amount of nights I spent sleeping on benches in Casper's parlors. It didn't matter if it was a ball game, horse, dog. Usually he'd lose. But he kept doing it. He always tell me when his luck was down. This time, I could feel it. So I was looking for the shortcut. That's why you don't like sports. 
Or drinking or gambling. That RAF prick was right. These daylight missions. It's suicide. Uh, why didn't you agree with him? Didn't like his delivery. Well, if you weren't a betting man, what's the move? We lead our boys through it. That was so short. Like we could do some real damage. Why does that red line go all the way down to Africa? Part the crew, abandon ship. Baby Oh my gosh. I think we may be done. We are gonna sit here and take it. You hear me? Oh boy, oh boy. Okay. I feel like it's going to be harder to portray the grittiness of the war from the air, obviously. And I feel like these first two episodes are more getting to know the characters and character building, but you're not really like seeing the, the down in the dirt stuff. Probably just because there wasn't that. And, and you don't like see the enemy either, so it's like hard to. But I might be biased to Austin Butler because I think he's so handsome. I fell in love with him in this very silly series called The Carrie Diaries. Uh, it was like Sex in the City when they were like teenagers, like the same, it was, it was, it got canceled. Let me just tell you that. But I loved Austin Butler in it. But I'm rooting for him and Bucky and Graz. And like I said, I think these first two episodes were maybe a little slow, but they're telling true stories and we have to get to know the characters and I'm excited to keep watching, I actually am. To me, the scenes when the fighting is happening look really, really real and good and I don't know how they're doing it. I'm also a noob at that stuff, but it looks very sharp to me. Okay, thank you so much for watching along. Let me know what you thought of the first two episodes and if you're liking it so far. See you soon.